Well, there's some new technology that could pave the way for people with ALS or other speech impairment disabilities to be able to communicate again, and it involves tiny brain implants. Joining me now is Dr. Frank Willett, research scientist in the Neuroprosthetics Transi Translational Laboratory at Stanford. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks so much for having me. So tell me about these brain implants. How do they work? Um, they're these tiny um, arrays of sensors. So they're about three by three millimeters. And they have uh, tiny contacts that penetrate the surface of the brain only a little bit, like about the size of two stacked quarters. And they can record the activity of single neurons. So when neurons are communicating in the brain, they're um, making electrical activity and we're recording that and we're figuring out from that activity from those patterns of activity what a paralyzed person is trying to say so how did this come about and and, and where are you in this study is this going to be used w around all patients with ALS or other similar disabilities and conditions yeah so what we're doing is we're trying to restore the ability to communicate to someone who is paralyzed basically by deciphering the signals um, that their brain generates when they're trying to speak. So those signals are still intact in certain disorders like ALS or brainstem stroke, but those signals can't reach your the muscles in your mouth and actually make you speak. So we're figuring out what they're trying to say and then we can speak it for them. And that can allow um, someone to have a fluent conversation again. That must be remarkable only, to see. Yeah. I mean, yes, tell us a little bit about what, what you've witnessed. I mean, you, you know, you, you talked to patients who weren't able to speak at all because they have ALS and it's completely debilitating. It's changed their life. And then to watch that transformation, tell me what you've witnessed. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. I mean, the participant I've worked with was super excited to see it work. I mean, it was a kind of a, incredible to see the dream come together. Um, you know, it's still a proof of concept. We're just showing that you can do this in a fast and accurate and general way, but it's not like a device you could go out and buy. It's mm -hmm. it's just a scientific study. So I think there's a there's still, you know, companies still need to take this and miniaturize it and make it wireless and make it robust and make it into something that people can um, actually use. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty amazing what you created there. What do you think this is going to lead to in the future when it comes to helping people with ALS communicate and other diseases like that? Um, I think this is really the first time where it's working so well that it really everyone's looking at this and saying, wow, this could really be a real thing. And I think it does allow us to imagine a future where we could say to people with ALS, well, you don't have to worry about losing the ability to communicate with your loved ones or your caregivers and you can still talk. So uh, to me, that's uh, amazing. It is amazing. Absolutely unbelievable. You're going to be changing lives, no doubt. What a, what a revolutionary uh, device that you've created. All right, Frank Willett, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.